Cora is a home to over 100,000 people. It began as a leper colony uh, and has grown to be a community of some of the poorest of the poor in Addis Ababa. There is no running water in Cora, and so they have to haul water either from the river or from a local well. And so most lives here are very labor intensive just to do the basics to sustain a family. They uh, struggle to have a, a decent living situation. There's lack of sanitation here. Uh, there are many, many orphans here and families who live here uh, really, have, they struggle to squeak by month to month. We have four children and uh, they were an integral part of our decision to move here. We had adopted our youngest daughter from Ethiopia and along the way felt like God was leading us to, to come to Ethiopia, specifically to work with children. We live right in Kora. We um, are the last house on the street beside a field right next to the dump. In the dump, there are people who, who live there. There are people who work there. They um, scavenge through the garbage to find things that can be sold to try and make a living. Some people scavenge for food to eat. ሰሜን <laughs> There are many parents who, who can't work because of young children or take their children to unsafe environments where the kids uh, just sit at their side while they work. So as we saw that need, we started to dream about ways that we could see those children in a safe and caring and healthy environment. Where those kids can learn and grow and flourish and also free up their parents to sustain them. Many of these women are just like me. They're moms with young kids. I'm a mom with young kids. My circumstances were pretty much dictated for me, and mine were just much different than theirs were. Neither of us asked to be where we're at, but I have something, resources mainly, that I can offer them to kind of equal out our lives, to balance out the inequity that's been dealt to in our world. To play a part in that um, just seems right. 
It just seems fair. There is something that the people of Cora have that we were lacking in the States. They have an indescribable joy despite their circumstances. Their joy of life is huge. They have that to teach us. What we hope for them is to take a step away from the poverty cycle, to break the poverty cycle for generations to come. I feel that the children of this nation are the hope for this nation. And so if we can begin by sowing seeds into the kids of Cora, I think things for generations can change for the families and the generations that have been here and for the future.